Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Confident, Fearless, and Worthy. My name is Danielle, and today is my birthday! <laughs> uh, if you are watching this video, uh, today is November 13th, 2018, and it is my 29th birthday. 29 is a weird age to turn because it's like... What's so special about 29? But uh, it's weird because I only have one more year left in my 20s. Ah! <laughs> it feels like I just turned 20 like two years ago. You know, so much has happened in my 20s. It's kind of ridiculous. And then next year I turn 30. Uh, you know, that's kind of a, I guess it's not scary per se, but it's uh, definitely interesting time flies when you're having fun kids it certainly does knowing that i wanted to write out a list of things to do before i am 30 and old no i'm just kidding uh i wrote out a list of 30 things to do before i'm 30 and i figured that i would share them with you all so i have this handy dandy journal i wrote this in my journal last night so let me uh share that with you all so 30 things to do before I'm 30 first one travel somewhere new I love to travel I love to go new places uh, as you saw I went to Key West this past year but that was already some place that I had been before so that's why I felt comfortable traveling there by myself I would love to go somewhere that I've never been before before I'm 30 number two wear things that scare me I firmly believe that confidence grows when you push yourself outside of your comfort zone especially when it comes to fashion and so recently i've been making a little bit more edgier choices with my wardrobe insert picture here uh and i have i've liked the results i like the results a lot so uh yeah i definitely want to continue that trend and wear something that scares me i'm really into the all mesh dresses right now we'll see if that happens save five thousand dollars that may seem like a large number to some a very small number to others money's all relative <laughs> uh regardless i would like to put away some money um for you know uh, eventually down the line when i get a new job or you know buy an apartment or something along those lines you know uh, i would like to have some money saved away so my goal is to save 5000 a year. That's a little ambitious for me, I will admit, but uh, I think I can do it. I think I can. Expand my crystal collection. Oh, pause. So, I don't know a ton about crystals. I know some basic things, um, and I recently actually just added to my collection. I have this beauty right here. This is Rose Quartz. And then I have uh, Opalite, I believe is what it is back there. Um, those are two new additions, but I'd like to know more about crystals and um, expand my collection and um, do maybe some crystal grids or something like that. Yeah. So that is a goal of mine. Volunteer somewhere. So I was, I've been really into volunteering for my entire life. I've done a lot of volunteer work, but since I've started working full time, uh, I have not done a ton of volunteer work and so I would like to get back into that and I would like to find somewhere to volunteer at some point this year. Stand up for myself. So this is something that I have been working on um, in regards to standing up for me and what I want in life and relationships and um, things like that and it's always been a struggle for me to do so uh, but I have definitely worked on that for sure so I need to do more of that in the coming year. Record and release songs. Ugh, this has been on my bucket list for years. Um, I have so much original music that I would love to share and I just haven't had the time or energy or whatever you want to call it uh, to sit down and actually like record any of it. So um, that I want to make that a focus for this coming year and uh, hopefully share that with you all very soon. Try new foods. So I 
I'm not super adventurous when it comes to different foods and different cuisines and things like that. I like to, you know, venture out of my comfort zone here and there when it comes to that, but I want to try something new, uh, maybe from another culture or something that I wouldn't typically eat. I feel like <laughs> once you turn 30, that's like very adult. And so as an adult, you should be, you know, widening your palate, so to speak. So that's on the list. Number nine, kiss a boy or two or three. I mean, I'm not gonna put a cap on it, especially if, you know, they have um, facial hair and a strong jawline. Okay, I'm getting off track. <laughs> I am in the dating scene currently, so, you know, we'll see what happens. But at least one. I'd like to kiss at least one boy this year. I think you can make that happen. Number 10, road trip. I would love to do a road trip with my friends. I think that would be super fun. So stay tuned for that. Plan an open mic. This is another thing that's been on my list forever and I just need to go and do it. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna be, you know, focusing on music and, uh, you know, practicing. And so this year I will make it a mission to absolutely plan an open mic. See live bands. Uh, along the same vein, you know, I, I have not had a ton of free time to like go and see new artists or local bands or things like that. And I would love to do that more, uh, especially being a huge music lover. So I would love to see a couple of live bands this year. Write more. I have a passion for writing and uh, it used to be a, a goal of mine, a career goal was to write a book or a children's book or something along those lines. And I would like to do some more writing. And I have tried about a million times to start a blog. <laughs> maybe I'll do that, uh, or maybe I'll find uh, another way to write more, but that is certainly a goal. Number 14, get a tattoo or a piercing. Uh, this has been something that I've been debating for a really, really, really long time. And I think that this year I just want to do it. Uh, maybe my nose get my nose pierced or maybe get a tiny little tattoo on my wrist. That's always been something that I've wanted. Who knows? We'll see. Do one meetup. So I am a part of meetup. Uh, it's the website where you can host a group of people doing something together. And I've never actually gone to any of them. Uh, I think for fear of like, you know, being alone by myself. But like I said, I push myself out of my comfort zone is definitely a theme here. So I want to do that and uh, go to a meetup and see what they're all about. Number 16, do a card reading for people. I've started to do this a little bit more, but I am super into tarot cards and oracle decks and affirmation cards. And I love doing readings for people. I recently did one for someone who I know from college and we were both kind of blown away by what the cards showed us. So. Uh, I would love to do that on a regular basis and do readings for people and who knows, maybe that could be a side hustle. We'll see. Go somewhere fancy. I would love to like just get dressed up and like go to a really fancy restaurant or to a ball or something like that this year. Go all out, shall we say. And uh, you know, treat, treat ourselves to something. I don't know what that is yet but I will figure it out. See a show on Broadway. I love musicals, I love plays, I love Broadway. Um, and I have seen a show on Broadway, but I'd love to see one of the newer shows that has just come out on Broadway. Even though they're pretty pricey, I definitely want to do that, and I think that I should. Be unapologetic. For me, this means that I want to work on being who I am and not apologizing for that. I think a lot of times I can feel like I'm taking up too much space or taking up too much time, but I just want to be who I am and not have to apologize for that at the end of the day. More on that later, I think. 
do yoga outdoors. So over the past uh, year, year and a half, I've gotten really into yoga. Um, and I typically go to the local YMCA to do that. But I have seen that people like host yoga classes outdoors. And I would love to do that like by the beach or, you know, in a park somewhere. So I'm going to make it my mission to find one of those and go to that this year. Number 21, buy new bedroom furniture. So I have some bedroom furniture that, uh, you know, I've had since I was very, very young. Um, and it's great, but it's old. <laughs> and it's not very big. And I am going to need more at some point. So uh, I would like to put that on the list. Number 22, random acts of kindness. This is something that I do um, a little here and there, um, you know, when I remember, but I love to uh, pay it forward and, you know, if I'm in line at the drive through like pay for the person behind me or like, you know, do something along those lines. Um, I have had this idea that I want to like write really positive post-it notes and then post them all around the building where I work. Um, I would still love to do that, so hopefully I can make that happen this year. Number 23, a girl's trip. Uh, one of my best friends um, and her family, uh, we've been talking about doing a girl's trip for a while and I want to make that happen this year. So I'm um, going to look into that and uh, we'll see what happens. I, I hope that we can make that work for all of us. Number 24, go camping. I haven't been camping since I was in high school and I would love to do that again. You know, actual tent, like actual lying on the ground with an air mattress <laughs> um, and like sleeping outside outdoors somewhere. Um, I want to experience that again and it was super fun, you know, so maybe I can convince my friends to do a road trip where we go camping and then I would knock two off the list like that. Keep up the gym routine. So last week I went to the gym three times and that was the first time I've done that in a very, very, very long time. You know, I've been able to go like here and there, um, but I have not gone to the gym three times in a row um, for a long time. And I felt so good. I felt amazing um, last week and I wanna keep that up. And so, I'm not going to say, like, I want to go to the gym, like, four times a week, every week, because I just don't think that's realistic for my life. Um, but I would like to have some sort of routine and stick to it. Make myself happy. This comes from me realizing recently that I do everything in my power to try and make other people happy. And while that's noble, other people's happiness is not my responsibility. And for a long, long, long time, I thought that it was. And I have put other people before myself for basically my entire life. And I certainly am a people pleaser, 100%. And I think that's because I thought that it was my, I don't know, my mission in life to make other people happy. And while I would like to do that, I should not make it my responsibility to make others happy. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but basically, you know, I have to hold people accountable. When people do something wrong, I have to hold them to that. And by me doing that, it might not make them happy, but it's what's right. It's what I have to do. And so I need to realize that and to work on making myself happy at the end of the day. Number 27, live in the present moment. This also comes from worrying about the future and what's going to happen and, you know, you can't predict that, obviously. Um, and, you know, meditation has really helped with doing this. Mindfulness certainly helps with doing this. I am so afraid of certain things either happening or not happening in the future and I can't necessarily control that. The only thing that I can control is the present moment. And so I need to work on doing that a little bit more. Number 28, meet a role model. I would love to see people who I admire, meet people in person um, who I've been following for a really long time on social media. Um, 
sometimes they do meetups in the area um, or go on tour or things like that and so I would like to make it my mission this year to meet one of those role models. Number 29, meditate every day. This is something that I am absolutely going to say a, a day limit for because I have found that if I don't meditate for at least five minutes in a day, it's not good for me. <laughs> and uh, meditation has just done a lot for me, anxiety wise, stress wise. Um, and if I don't meditate, like I said, it does not turn out to be a very good day. So I need to make it my mission to meditate for at least five minutes a day. And I think that that is certainly doable. The last thing that I have on my list, number 30, is be more me. And I think that it kind of goes along with, uh, which one, number 19, be unapologetic. Um, but I think that I have been afraid for most of my life to be my true authentic self and to really you know show off who I am and I think part of that comes from feeling like I had to conform to a lot of things when I was younger um or you know hide myself or not be my true self um for a lot of different reasons. I can honestly say that there are only probably a handful of people who I feel like I can completely be myself around. Um, if you see me drunk within the past five years, then you're one of them, congratulations. <laughs> I feel like I have held myself back from a lot of things because I felt like I would be accepted or I wouldn't be wanted or, uh, you know, any of those things. And I'm coming to find that that's not true. And uh, I just need to be myself and be more me and not care about what other people think. I am going to be working on shining my light, as they say, uh, as fully and brightly as I possibly can and no holding back anymore. The reason why, one of the reasons why I'm sharing this list with you all is that I firmly believe that uh, vocalizing it and uh, putting it out into the universe will help make it all come true. And so uh, I wanted to do that and to share this list with you all. But to also say in the same line, don't wait for a certain age to do certain things. You know, I kind of struggled a little with this list because I feel like over the past couple of years I've done a lot of things that I wanted to do just because and I knew that it would be good for me and so um, you know there's things on this list that I've already done but I want to do again and like uh, you know I haven't necessarily held myself back from doing the things that I want to do over the past couple of years um, and so you shouldn't wait until you turn a certain age to do a certain thing or wait until you look a certain way or feel a certain way or any of that. You know, I really do believe in pushing myself outside of my comfort zone um, and we'll be doing that even more. Um, and I thought that, you know, there's some things that I want to do before I turn 30, uh, but I thought that this would be a fun way to kind of celebrate the end of my 20s and uh, head into the next phase of my life. I think that's all for now. Um, one of the other things that I would like to do this year is post on YouTube more. <laughs> um, but you know, hopefully if I'm working on music stuff and uh, working on cool projects or things like that, I will definitely certainly share that with you all um, and post a heck of a lot more. I would love to get to 150 subscribers this year. I'm almost at 100, so I think I can make it. Uh, but yeah, so that's all for me, and uh, yeah, I will see you all very soon.